Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Tombstone is known for its deep ensemble cast, but the amount of notable film stars with supporting roles in the Western is longer than you remember. Tombstone is remembered for its all-star cast, but there are a number of great actors that audiences probably forgot appeared in the movie. The 1993 Western is headlined by Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, and Sam Elliott, all giving some of their best performances. Kurt Russell stars as Wyatt Earp and Sam Elliott as his brother Virgil, members of a band of gunslingers looking to start anew away from violence. Luckily for film viewers, violence finds them, and they must enlist the help of Val Kilmer's Doc Holliday to restore order to the town of Tombstone, which is in conflict with a band of outlaws. The Western genre's pinnacle in American pop culture was certainly in the 50s and 60s, but great films have still proceeded following this peak. By 1993, Westerns had lost much of their momentum with film audiences until the success and popularity of Tombstone reinvigorated the genre, becoming a benchmark for most modern Westerns. The film is littered with recognizable faces playing small roles, sporting one of the most impressive ensemble casts in Western films, including a number of actors who hadn't reached the fame and recognition they hold today. Number 10, Frank Stallone. Recognized primarily as the younger brother of acting legend Sylvester Stallone, Frank Stallone has his moment to shine in a brief scene opposite Val Kilmer in Tombstone, where he loses his cool over a card game and ends up being stabbed by Kilmer's Doc Holliday. Frank Stallone has had a long history in the film industry with his primary contributions occurring behind the camera. Known mostly for his music for his brother's films, Frank worked on the soundtrack for the Rocky, Rambo, and Expendables franchises, as well as for Staying Alive. His tombstone scene is brief, but memorable, primarily for showcasing Doc Holliday's wit and ruthlessness. Number nine, Terry O'Quinn. Another actor with brief amount of screen time in Tombstone is Terry O'Quinn, who played John Clum based on the real first mayor of Tombstone. Terry O'Quinn has had a career in the film industry dating back to the early 1980s, with appearances in films such as Primal Fear and shows like The X-Files. O'Quinn is best known for his role as John Locke in Lost, which earned him a primetime Emmy for supporting actor. O'Quinn's role in Tombstone is small, despite playing an important figure, though he does have a few memorable lines of dialogue. Number eight, Michael Rooker, known best in modern films for his role in the Guardians of the Galaxy films, The Walking Dead and the Fast and the Furious franchise. Michael Rooker has worked in film and television since the 1980s. The actor found some success in the early 90s, appearing in successful films like JFK, Days of Thunder, and of course, Tombstone. Rooker played Sherman McMasters in the Western, one of the film's characters based on real gunslingers, who starts as an outlaw but ends up becoming an ally to Wyatt Earp in The Lawman, joining the posse to seek revenge on the bandits. Number seven, Stephen Lang. Stephen Lang is a very familiar face in modern film, having prominently appeared in the highest grossing movie of all time. In James Cameron's Avatar science fiction franchise, Lang is known for playing Colonel Miles Quaritch, the main antagonist of the film and its sequel. In Tombstone, Lang's piercing blue eyes stand out in his memorable role as the despicable Ike Clanton. Ike was known as a coward and backstabber, making it all the more fulfilling when he gets what's coming to him. Lang is celebrated for his performance in Tombstone, expertly playing Ike's devious side, as well as his fearful cowardly side. Number six, Billy Zane. Like Stephen Lang, Billy Zane made his mark on cinema by appearing as an antagonist in one of the highest grossing films ever. In Zane's case, Titanic is his claim to fame. Before appearing in the massive James Cameron film, Zane had small roles in Back to the Future, Twin Peaks, and as the theater actor, Mr. Fabian in Tombstone. Zane's supporting role in the film is brief, but the actor offers his unique and enigmatic charisma in every line. Number five, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton has become acclaimed for both starring and supporting roles, with his performances in Sling Blade and Fargo being his most memorable. In 1993, Billy Bob Thornton wasn't the recognizable face he is in Hollywood today, and his role in Tombstone was quite small, his rise to stardom really kicked off a few years later, making the role of Johnny Tyler a somewhat minor addition to his resume. 
Thornton's Tyler manages to get into it with Wyatt Earp over cards, prompting one of Tombstone's memorable lines. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? He then gets himself tossed out of the casino. Number four, Robert Mitchum. Unlike many of the actors appearing in Tombstone who were still finding their footing in their careers, the great Robert Mitchum had been a revered figure in the Western genre for decades, known for his role in the John Wayne film, El Dorado. Just a few years before his passing, Robert Mitchum played the narrator in Tombstone, establishing the historical context and introducing the characters at the beginning of the film. It's easy to miss a narration role, but classical Hollywood fans might have recognized the iconic voice. Number three, Forey Smith. Forey Smith may not have the acting accolades as many of the other performers in Tombstone, but the 64-year-old actor has recently found fame playing Lloyd in Yellowstone. Even in comparison to the other supporting roles in the film, Smith is easy to miss, as he has a non-speaking role among the ensemble of the Clanton gang. The Montana-born actor has been contributing to the Western genre with acting and stunt work for 30 years, with his real-life cowboy experience offering him a unique edge. Number two, Harry Carey. Like Robert Mitchum, Harry Carey Jr.'s presence in Tombstone was a gift for longtime Western fans, as the actor had appeared in some of the best Western films ever, including Rio Grande, The Searchers, and Rio Bravo. Remembered as an important Western movie character actor, Harry Carey Jr. appeared in nine films supporting John Wayne. In Tombstone, the actor plays Marshal Fred White, a lawman who initially stands up to Curly Bill before being shot and killed, forcing Wyatt Earp to get involved in the conflict. Number one, Charlton Heston. Western films weren't Charlton Heston's claim to fame, but the actor was an essential star in Hollywood during the 1950s and 60s, having starred in classics like Ben-Hur and Planet of the Apes. Heston's most memorable Western was The Big Country, before appearing in Tombstone as Henry Hooker. The actor only appeared in a handful of moments in the film, playing a notable historical rancher. Hooker was an ally to Wyatt Earp, though many of the character's scenes were actually removed from the film due to a change in director, who reduced Heston's role altogether. It's incredible to revisit Tombstone and rediscover the incredible talent that filled its cast. From seasoned veterans to rising stars, each actor brought something special to the table, contributing to the magic of this iconic Western film. As we've journeyed through this list of 10 actors you may have forgotten appeared in Tombstone, it's clear that the film's enduring legacy is not just about its main stars, but also the depth and richness of its supporting cast. Whether it's the unforgettable performance of Michael Bean as Johnny Ringo, the surprising cameo by Billy Bob Thornton, or the brief yet memorable appearance of Charlton Heston, each actor left an indelible mark on the movie. But beyond simply recognizing these actors for their roles in Tombstone, it's a testament to the timeless appeal of the film itself. Even decades after its release, Tombstone continues to captivate audiences with its gripping story, memorable characters, and iconic moments. So as we bid farewell to this exploration of the hidden gems within Tombstone, we encourage you to revisit the film and experience it with fresh eyes. And who knows, maybe you'll discover even more familiar faces that you forgot were part of this legendary Western. Before we go, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, share it with your fellow movie buffs, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into your favorite films. And as always, we love hearing from you, so be sure to leave a comment below letting us know which actor surprised you the most in their role in Tombstone. Thanks for joining us on this cinematic journey. And until next time, keep exploring the rich tapestry of film history. See you in the next video. Goodbye for now.